Hello everyone. Today we are going to conduct the PN junction diode characteristics experiment. In this we are going to observe the forward, forward bias characteristics as well as the reverse bias characteristics. This is the circuit diagram of forward bias. This is the PN junction diode. Okay, this is the diode. Okay, it is a diode. It is a diode having the two terminals. It is a P type and a N type. It is the anode and it is a cathode. Okay. Now here for this uh, circuit for this circuit diagram for the diode we are connecting one resistor connected in series that is one kilo ohm resistor and it is RPS positive and RPS negative and this voltmeter is used to measure the voltage across this diode and this ammeter is used to current passing through this diode we are using this ammeter now let's connect the circuit here this is the diode one kilo ohm second terminal is connected to diode P type here. As the both are connected, we should connect vertically only. Okay, now RPS positive. Now this RPS positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal. RPS positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm second, uh, 1 kilo ohm first terminal. Next, RPS negative. RPS negative is connected to ground. Now I am connecting RPS negative is connected to ground. Next voltmeter. Here, if you see the diagram, voltmeter is positive is connected to diode P type, and the voltmeter negative is connected to diode N type. Okay, here voltmeter positive connect here. Okay, next voltmeter negative is connected to diode N type. Okay, across this diode we are connecting one voltmeter. Okay, next ammeter positive. Here, ammeter positive is connected to diode N type here. Okay, next, this ammeter negative, ammeter negative is connected to ground. Ammeter negative is connected to ground. Okay, so if you see the junction point here, this is 1 kilo ohm second terminal, this diode P type and the voltmeter positive, three terminals are connected to junction point. That's why here there are three terminals here, one, two, three terminals are connected to junction point. If you see the ground terminals, old, uh, RPS negative and the ammeter negative is connected to ground. These two terminals are connected to ground. Here instead of connecting these two terminals are connected to ground, we can connect this RPS negative, we can connect directly to the ammeter negative. We can, we can connect in this way. Okay. Now, if we vary the uh, RPS value here, now I am increasing the RPS value and we will see the voltmeter, forward voltage and the forward current. How we will get the values we will see here. Now, I am increasing the RPS value slowly up to we will get 0 0.1 volt in the voltmeter. Here, the forward, I am increasing the RPS value and we, we are getting 0 0.1 volt forward voltage. At 0 0.1 volt of the forward voltage, we are getting the forward current is 0. Again, slowly I am increasing the RPS value, okay. So here, at 0.2 volts, at exactly at 0.2 volts, we are getting the 0 here. And again, if you increase the RPS value further here, at exactly 0.3 volts, we are getting the forward current is 0 only. There is no conduction here. If you increase the RPS value further here, here we are getting the 0.4 volts. At 0.4 volts, there is a slight uh, decreasing but here there is no change here 0 also 0 milliamps only at 0 0.4 volts of the forward voltage we are getting the 0 milliamps of forward current up to 0 0.4 volts there is no conduction at 0 0.5 volts okay if you increase the rps further here okay 0 0.5 volts here there is a slight there is a slight increasing the ammeter value here at 0 0.5 volts of the whole, uh, forward voltage, if you increase the RPS value, we will get here 0 0.5 volts. At 0 0.5 volts of the forward voltage, we are getting the 0 0.6 milliamps of current. There is a slight increasing. Okay. Now at 0 0.6 volts, okay, at 0 0.6 volts, we are getting around 3.5 milliamps of current. We are getting forward current. At 0 0.6 volts, okay, we are getting 3.6 milliamps. Okay. Now. If you increase the current further here, if you increase the RPS further, here we will get in 0 0.7. Okay, for the, uh, if you increase the RPS, here we will get the 0 0.7. For the 0 0.7 volts, we will get the current here. We will take the maximum current here. There are different currents we are getting, but if you increase the RPS further, we are getting the different, different of the uh, currents here. We will take the maximum current here. Okay, we will take around 25 milliamps, it is enough. Up to 25 milliamps of uh, reading we can enough. 
Take 25 volts of the supply voltage, 0.7 volts. For the 0.7 volts, we are getting the maximum uh, 25.2 milliamps. For the supply voltage is 25. From this, we can say that up to 0.6 volt, there is a slight increase in the current. At 0.7 volts, the current is increasing drastically in the forward bias. From this, we can say that the cut-in voltage of the silicon, this, this diode is a silicon diode. For the silicon diode, the cut-in voltage is 0.7 volts. Okay, for the 0 0.7 volt, the diode starts conducting. Cut-in voltage means the voltage where the diode starts conduct is called as a cut-in voltage. In the forward bias at exactly 0 0.7 volt, the current is increasing drastically. This is about the forward bias. If you see the whatever the values we got up to now, if you note down these, we are getting this is a supply voltage and it is a forward voltage, it is a forward current. At 0 0.1 volts, we are not getting any value. 0 0.2 volts also no value. 0 0.3 volts no value. 0 0.4 volts there is a slight increasing. At 0 0.5 volts also there is a slight increasing the value. At 0 0.6 volts, we are getting this 10.2 milliamps. Okay, so you may get the nearby 10.2. Okay, there is no, it is not necessary to get exactly 10.2. You can you may get the nearby 10.2. So if you increase the uh, supply voltage again we will get 0 0.7 volts at 0 0.7 volts the cut in uh, the uh, forward current increases drastically okay this current also you will get nearby this value okay there is no, not necessary to get the exactly this value okay from this we can after, if you increase the rps further here there is no increasing this voltage this 0 0.7 volts is the last for the pn junction diode okay so this is about the forward bias in the reverse bias just we will reverse the terminals here this circuit diagram for the reverse bias, the negative terminal is connected to uh, this uh, P type and the positive terminal is connected to ground. Okay, now if you reverse the terminals, just reverse, uh, reverse the terminals here and remove the uh, this ammeter value and connect the this microamps value here because we use microammeter to measure the current. The value, the, each and every connection is same. Just replace the mul, uh, milliamps meter by okay microamps meter because the in reverse bias we will get the very uh, small currents. Okay, that's why we will use the microamps. In the forward bias we use milliamps. In the reverse bias we use microamps. The connections are as it is. Just reverse them. RPS terminals. If you reverse the RPS terminals, we will get RPS negative. RPS negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal here. RPS negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal and RPS positive is connected to ground here. And connecting RPS positive is connected to ground. Okay, this is the reverse bias uh, uh, connection. Now, if we increase the RPS value here slowly. The each and every connection is same, just we are uh, replacing the RPS terminals. Negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal and RPS positive is connected to ground. And we are replacing milliamps by microamps. Now I am increasing the RPS value. Here at 0 0.1 volt of the reverse voltage, we are getting at, G, at 0 0.1 volt, we will get 0 0.1 volt microamps. Okay. now. At 0 0.2 volts of the reverse voltage, we will get 0 0.2 microamps of the current we will get. Now, if you increase the value further, so like this, if you increase, the, we will take the 1 volt here. If you take the 1 volt here, for the 1 volt, okay, the reverse voltage, we are taking 1 volt. The reverse current also, we are getting 1 microamps. Next, if you increase the RPS further, at 2 volts, reverse voltage of 2 volts, the reverse current we are getting 2 microamps only, minus. And <coughs> if you take the voltage is 3 volts here, if you take the voltage, the microamps current you are getting 3 microamps. Now, if you take the voltage up to 4 volts here, if you take the reverse voltage, I am taking 4 volts. If it is for 4 volts, the reverse current also you are getting the 4. We will get the linear characteristics here. If you take the 5 volts, you will get the 5. If you get the 6 volts, if you get the C, if you take the 6 volts, 
okay here for the reverse voltage of the 6 volt the reverse current is also same like this we will get the linear characteristics in the linear characteristics in the reverse bias this is about the forward bias and reverse bias characteristics of the pn junction diode if you see the reverse bias characteristics uh, the table this is the reverse bias uh, reverse bias table okay in the reverse bias it is the applied voltage and it is a reverse voltage and it is a reverse current all we will get the same here because in the uh, pn junction diode we will get the linear characteristics reverse bias okay now if you see the uh, sir uh, uh, if we draw the graph for the forward bias and reverse bias, we will get the graph like this. Up to 0.7 volts, the, there is a small increase in the current. After 0.7 volts, the current increasing drastically. For the reverse bias, we will get the linear characteristics. For the forward bias and reverse bias, this reverse bias characteristics we, we have to draw in the third quadrant as we get the negative values here. Okay, it is a minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, minus 3, minus 4, minus 4. Like this, we will get the linear characteristics. This is about the forward and reverse bias characteristics of PN junction diode.